What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to do a simple and quick tutorial on how to fix your PlayStation 4 if your PlayStation 4 is lagging, if it's having crash errors with certain games and even if your PlayStation 4 is currently bricked, not turning on or going through the power cycle and keeps resetting. Hopefully this video will help you out. If it does, make sure to hit a like and comment down below. Let me know if it helped. If it didn't, uh, let me know what issues or you know what you're experiencing in those comments down below. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, before we get into the video, there's two things that I want you to go through. The first thing is actually seeing what kind of errors are, are on your PlayStation 4. And I'm gonna hop onto the PlayStation 4 and show you in just a second. But the other thing we're actually gonna do is boot it up into safe mode. So if you guys guys have been experiencing issues to where your PlayStation 4 can't turn on at all and you can't even get into this menu then skip ahead but let's go ahead and hop onto the PlayStation 4 and check for errors now that we're on the PlayStation 4 I'm going to show you where to go to find the errors that are occurring on your PlayStation 4 whether it being within the app or with uh, the system software itself. So go into settings and then scroll down to system. Once you're in system, scroll down to the bottom and the third one down from the bottom is error history. And it's gonna display and show you all of the errors that have occurred on your PlayStation 4. If it is in regards to a specific game, it should have um, a CE- some numbers behind it like you're seeing with the first one and then at the very end it's going to say the game so the game that's causing the error in the crash um, you will be able to see it in the error history if it has to do with software or something like that you're going to see a different code and it's not going to have any um any names associated with that at all so i'm going to show you guys really quickly some of the errors that have occurred on my playstation 4 and it's mainly uh, apex legends <laughs> <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and go through the rest of the steps now that you know what the errors are where to find them um, and this could also be making your PlayStation 4 lag all right now that we've actually checked for errors and seen what's on our PlayStation 4 let's go ahead and discuss the next step now before we get into the next step, I do want to mention that if you don't know the login password to your PlayStation Network and the other apps that you have available on your PlayStation 4, such as Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that, retrieve those passwords and figure this out before you go to the next step because the next step we are actually going to rebuild the database and when you do that you're going to be logged out of the playstation network you're going to be logged out of everything and uh, basically you're going to do a soft reset on your playstation 4. don't worry though rebuilding your database does not delete anything off of your console if you guys are concerned you know you can and you have access to the playstation 4 then just save everything to the cloud if you don't have access to the playstation 4 well you're kind of just stuck um <laughs> and you need to do this next step so we are going to hop on to the playstation 4 yet again and we're going to boot it up into safe mode i'm going to walk you through step by step on what to do and how to rebuild your database so First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your PlayStation 4 and hold the power button for um, about 30 seconds. You're gonna to wanna to hear two beeps. The initial beep happens right away and the second beep happens uh, a little bit later on within 30 seconds usually. Uh, once you hear the second beep, go ahead and let go of the PlayStation 4's power button and then uh, we're going to be prompted to a screen on our PS4. So let's hop onto our PlayStation 4 and see what this safe mode is and the next steps. Once you are on your PlayStation 4 and you're in safe mode, go ahead and connect your DualShock 4 controller to a USB connection on your console. Once you do that, you will be able to press the PlayStation button and then get prompted to the safe mode options. Now, here are a couple of things that you can actually do in safe mode. One thing that I don't recommend you guys to do is initialize your PlayStation 4 first. Do not do this unless you want to wipe out your PlayStation 4 completely and not be able to uh, access your game saves and even have to re-download your PlayStation 4 
games as well. Um, either one of these options don't do, and this should be your last resort. If your PlayStation 4 continues to act up or you're still not able to uh, turn it on, you might have to initialize the PlayStation 4. But like I said, this is a last resort. So before we get into that, uh, let's go ahead and check out the rebuild database. Now, rebuild database should fix a lot of your issues. Once you're in safe mode, you can go ahead and click on that. And then um, this database will be rebuilt. It might take a few hours to rebuild the data, this database. Now, I've already done it one time over, and I'm currently on the PlayStation 4 Pro. This process actually doesn't take a few hours, to be completely honest with you guys. It took me about 30 to 40 minutes for my PlayStation 4 to go through and actually uh, rebuild the database and reboot. If you're on the PlayStation Slim, it should be about the same. It could take a couple of hours if you are on the original PlayStation 4, the launch PlayStation 4. So just keep that in mind. Um, again, this is uh, the first step. And, um, you know, hopefully this has helped you out. If you guys have any comments or concerns, let me know in those comments down below. If you go into safe mode and then you realize you don't want to actually do the rebuild database, do not turn off your PlayStation 4 from the power button. Just go ahead and hit restart. All right, so the PS4 is going to take some time to rebuild the database. It's going to reboot, and it's going to be a soft reset for your PS4. It's going to clear all of the errors out and all of the things that might have corrupted your PlayStation 4 um, to where it might have been bricked or even lagging. Um, so hopefully this has helped you out and you know, you can actually do this um, Even if you know your PlayStation 4 is able to turn on and stuff like that But if you're experiencing lag or you know some sort of issues with uh, Games crashing these are usually the first steps that Sony has you take anyway, so um, you might want to you know do the process if uh, you know you haven't already. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit a like and comment down below. Let me know what you guys honestly think about it. Um, you know, one thing that I do want to stress and remind you guys is if you are going into safe mode, just be careful. I know I've showed you already, but just be careful not to initialize your PlayStation 4 unless you want to actually clean it out completely and have to re-download all of your games and uh, save files and things like that in which you would have to back up uh, everything on an external hard drive um, so you don't have to go through that headache of uh, you know what if your game save doesn't save to the cloud because that happens sometimes so anyway thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit a like and if you guys are new hit that subscribe button bell notification i will see you guys in the next news update you guys are freaking awesome